What's happening, y'all? I just want to talk about this whole Adrian Peterson thing and his son dying. And I just want to say, you know, this is really tragic in my heart and my condolences go out to him and his family. But I'll tell you this, Mr. Peterson, you're a better man than me because if it was me, oh my God, y'all. I'd have killed that man with my bare hands. You know, they said Peterson took to Twitter, you know, that day to give, you know, to, to tell people, thank people, you know, for all the, the wishes and everything, best wishes that they've given him, all the, you know, um, you know, just everything from his fans and family and support and everything. I would have took to Twitter to let y'all know to, to start a collection to bail me out of fucking jail. Because I have, I'm telling you right now, he's a better man than me. You know, um, that that's that's just tragic. And it was the boyfriend of of his baby mama or whatever, man. Oh my God. I don't wonder why the motherfucker was still in the country after me finding out that my son was in the hospital. You got what I'm saying? Like you should have booked his fucking flight to South America when he put my son in the emergency room like that. I mean, what makes you beat a two year old like that? To the point that they fucking die. I'd have killed him with my bare hands. And some people might say, well, why not shoot him or have him killed or why not stab him? Because doing it with my bare hands is going to feel the best and, and the most gratifying to me. That's how I feel about the subject. You killed my son with your bare hands, so you should die by my bare hands. I mean, you know, I've always been a believer, you know, when children are uh, molested and killed and all that stuff, that the proper punishment is to just give the murderer to the family. Whatever happens, happens. That's it. They deserve the punishment for them taking that child's life. I mean, and I was looking at the pictures of him and his son playing, that fucking tore at me, man. And I don't even have any kids, but I know what I would feel like if I did have some kids. And, you know, it was the cutest thing seeing him having the little helmet on, handing his dad the football and all that stuff. That fucked me up, y'all. You know what I'm saying? I, I just can't imagine the pain and the anguish that he's going through. You know what I'm saying? And shit, I know the man's, you know, well off enough to pay somebody to handle that. I would have done it myself. All America would have known Mr. Magnus is on his way to kill this motherfucker. Send in the National Guard. Make sure y'all take this man into uh, protective custody to keep him away from him. I'm telling you, that's what it would take to keep me away from him because, man. Let me know what y'all think about this whole situation. You know, um, I think my brother Eugene Michelangelo is going to do a video on this, but he's got a different take. I'm basically telling you how I feel about the whole subject, how I would feel as a father if it happened to me. But he's got a different take on how people are responding to this. You know, a lot of people are um, saying, you know, those things where people, people say things to comfort themselves. You know, um, oh, well, it's all in God's plan. God picked the prettiest flowers for himself. Fuck that. God, that wasn't in God's fucking plan. And a loving God would not have done that. He would not have sprinkled his plan and said, this child so die by a beating by this abusive man. Fuck that. That ain't God. God ain't involved in that. And basically, my brother's going to elaborate on that. So anyway, like I said, y'all, post your comments below. Let me know what y'all think about this. Let me know how you would have responded. If you get the call that your baby's mama, your ex-wife's mom, you know, I mean, your baby mama's ex, I mean, new boyfriend, and your, you know, your ex-wife's new man just put your two-year-old in the fucking hospital. Let me know what y'all would do, okay? And I want to know some serious shit. Like, I'm going to prison. Okay? That's just how it is. I'm letting y'all know right now I'm going to prison because somebody's dying at my hands for killing my child. That is just how it's going. But let me know how y'all would handle it. Can y'all really handle the whole due process? You know it's different when you travel all across the country and all that stuff? Look, I ain't got that type of career right now. If I'm within a few miles of you, you like I said, after he's in, 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 in the hospital, book your flight immediately. Because I'm the next face you're going to fucking see. You ain't going to be the authorities. You're going to see me first. All right, y'all. I'll talk to you later.